GSA 2021 draft day, Agent Grady here. I'm excited, both of our guys, you know, regardless of what happens, 12 hours from now, they in the league. So I'm just super excited and we gonna get to it. But real quick, I just wanted to show y'all the fit. So, so y'all take a look, or really the whole pack. So first, shout out my guys, What's Poppin', okay? Draft day sponsored by What's Poppin'. Shout out my guy, Stefan. I appreciate you, everything you are doing, showing love. So. The only real thing I wanted to show to bring out a one of one. You see, we even got the tag on it. Okay, we still got a tag on it. GSA Custom Adidas Fit. Okay, exclusive for the draft. You already see it. More than an agency. That's the model right here. So we're gonna get ready. Stay tuned. We got more dropping. Noah Gum, get you right. Noah Gum, we need a sponsorship. Okay, I appreciate y'all rocking with us. If you want an agency to rep y'all right here. Get your right, little caffeine gum. Energy and focus. Okay, tap in. What else we got? So we got that. Hmm, right here. Lewis Accordion. Draft day watch. A lot of people like all the digital. I'm more of a classic man myself, okay? So, that's how I open up that too. Y'all don't know about this. So you can see the 12 is not at the top. Reason being, most people when they turn their wrist, they gotta tilt their head to really check the time. So the 12 is offset, make it simpler. Lewis, Accordi, more content on the way. But there's no name on the back. Okay. So it's just like you're buying number seven from Clemson, even though number seven is really X famous player. So it's like technically you're not buying Trevor Lawrence's jersey, you're buying a Clemson jersey with his number on it. Now I was looking, but the Jets they haven't taken one yet and they need corners. I feel like they're gonna take a corner probably the next few rounds. I don't know how much money they have. Let's see. Because now that they're going to sign, it all depends on how much money they have. Ah, uh, they got 25 million left. I can't believe it. But y'all told him to stay, though. We, we, told told him him. To stay. we told him to stay. We told him that it would be better for him to stay. Now you yeah. see, like, we. We ain't hating on people. Did like he me. give up his eligibility? He's he's gone. Gone. Yeah, he left. Once you sign an agent, you're gone. And we told him, we said it would be better for you to stay I'll so that you could be like work your way up to truly be the first round pick. But if you're looking at Mel Kiper and then mock drafts, you can't look at They get to their head, bro. Because that's what, that's what it is. That's they crazy. Him number one, DC, right? Like, oh, like, he hit. You know, they get to the put a whole presentation. It's not just them, it. it's agents. He said it. It's agents that will say, yes, if you leave, we will help you go to first, second round. 
failing to realize that like they have no plan. And so if a team is gonna draft your player, they're gonna draft your player like Leon. When Leon was drafted, check out Draft Diaries by the way on my YouTube, Agent Grady, little Agent plug. Grady. But when Leon was drafted to the Chiefs, I didn't talk to the Chiefs, not one time. And so you just gotta understand that like these GMs are gonna do what they wanna do. Mm -hmm. Like you cannot control them and just be at peace with whatever the end result is. Trust the process about anything else. Okay, what's your advice to somebody who doesn't have a client? If you don't have a client, I would say, shoot, you ain't got nothing to worry about this year. You know, you ought to honestly, <laughs> if you, you sit it's back, fun. learn, watch, look at how teams are evaluating players, mm -hmm. you know, look at which positions are getting drafted more because like last year, there was only, I think, 16 corners taken. This year, there's already been 16 corners taken. And so the league goes through ebbs and flows, you know what I'm saying? So you really just need to take a look at the board, see what tendencies teams have. Certain teams are always drafting corners that are 6'2 and above. Certain teams are only looking for shorter, twitchier corners. And so just try to gain as much insight as you can. Um, but outside of that, like, you ain't got nothing to stress about. You better get ready for next year. And get them players. Get them players. Because without them players, you ain't making no bread. <laughs>
It's fine. Dip. Chip. How you make popcorn taste like bacon? <laughs> That's what I was saying. Okay. Going crazy. Shout out to Stefan. Appreciate the love. Shout out to what's popping, man. Obviously going to be a big determining factor. Um, I will say he probably has three or four teams right now that I would be surprised let him go to undrafted just based on uh, need, things of that sort. But what I can do maybe once we get to the end of the six, touch base back with you after I talk with him. That will be the next discussion we have and then just kind of go from there if that works for you. Call me. Well, I'll call you. Let's see how many picks. We're about to start 185. Six round ends on 228. So I'll call you around pick 200. And we'll just stay in touch. You know, right now, every 20 minute or every 20 picks, then every 10 picks, you know, we'll just continue to have this dialogue. All right, All right bro. Yep. Phone. Okay, our remote. Volume. Right here. No way. No way. No way, bro.
Y'all don't doubt that, Lord, now. God be coming through. Like, don't make no ifs, ands, or buts about it, okay? I don't even know what to say. Like, that's crazy. Like, that's insane, bro. Two for two. Two for two. Bro, you out here. Two for two. What? We are out here. Two for two. Okay. Shoot. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing my hair. 